Hello, my name is Sami Graves, and today I'm going to show you how to bring in regular DXF files from AutoCAD into InfraWorks. So uh, today, what you'll see here is I have a couple of drawings that uh, are just regular polylines, AutoCAD line work, and instead of going through the uh, whole process of bringing in that, that data through IMX file and converting them to civil 3D objects or into shape files. I want to show you a quick and easy way to just bring in that information uh, as a DXF file. So I have parking stripes here and I have parking curves. And let's get started. So here in InfraWorks, I've created the base model and I've already done some preliminary grading. I've turned off the um, uh, pavement coverage areas and just have uh, imported the base uh, surface from the grading area from Civil 3D. What I need to do next is bring in uh, the DXF line work that outlines the curves. And I took that uh, auto desk drawing and just uh, did a DXF export for that information. So what you'll do, instead of coming here uh, to the data sources and using these traditional methods of bringing in uh, line, come over to the connect to data source. And the connection type you want to select will be generic and then the connection provider will be DXF OGR DXF and what you do next is navigate to the file And I have uh, DXF files on a, in my direct. So I will select the parking curves DXF, open that, and hit OK. And the first thing it's going to do is just show it as entities. So I'll select OK. And with all uh, information that you're bringing into InfoWorks, you'll have to configure that. So I'll highlight and right click to configure the data source. And the description or the name, I'm going to change that to and I'll just call this curves. And the type, what I'd like to do with the type for this particular operation is uh, use the pipelines object and the reason for that is that when you bring in data as pipelines you can drape that on the surface and so um, the geolocation is going to be a Washington or California excuse me California 6 so I actually have to select that. It's going to be California NAD 83 zone 6 in feet. And for the source, I'm going to ask it to drape it to the surface. And on the table, I'm going to give it a size. And so let's say the X is going to be 0.5 and the Y will be 0.67 feet. And back at common, the rule style, I've created a pipeline that I just called parking stripe. I'm going to select that.
I will close and refresh. And you can see that there's some line work in here that's been brought in. And it's not completely shown yet because I've turned off several layers. So what I'll do next is uh, turn back on the sketched grading areas and apply that. And it will take a little while to uh, regen. And because I have a lot of things in this uh, InfoWorks model. But here you can see that uh, the line work is. And sometimes what you'll end up with is. pipeline that may not, um, that may be a little bit below grade when you have long stretches. And if that happens, all you need to do is say somewhere in the intermediate uh, area, just add a vertex and that will bring the line up to and it will drape itself nicely. So here's uh, a quick way and I actually just converted all of the lines from DXF into InfraWorks pipelines, but it makes a very good representation. And what I can do next, uh, just to show more of a completed project, is in the Model Explorer, I've turned off some other and information and I'll just turn those back on so you'll see the final product. So turn back on things like uh, generic objects, foundations, buildings, uh, barriers, and linear features and city furniture. Jeez. So now you can see a fairly presentation and that just adds a little more realism to your visualization here for InfraWorks. That's all there is to bring in uh, AutoCAD line work via the DXF uh, option in InfraWorks. I hope you found this useful and thank you and have fun.